a just transition starts from the grassroots. Over half of carbon emissions are work-related, and every workplace has a part to play in making changes. Unions are already taking a lead. Trade union green reps ensure a joint approach to workplace sustainability. Green reps are finding ways to cut workplace carbon, reduce waste, and they're campaigning for cleaner air and for support for nature. The role of the Green Rep includes organising events and green skills training, taking part in negotiations, surveying members, developing workplace policies, and taking part in environmental audits and committees. So why do we need Green Reps? Because they're the best way of getting workforce engagement and ensuring trust and fairness. They can involve every worker and maximise expertise and support. And this can help carbon reduction and improve industrial relations. Prospect reps Becky and Connell have been working together with members and management to help climate proof their workplace. The reps joined the IPO's green team so they can feed in members' views and ideas after a survey found the climate crisis was one of members' top concerns. Unison rep Stuart Egan came up with the idea to set up an orchard and community wildlife garden at Flandark Hospital and secured support from senior executives. 150 trees have now been planted after a huge fundraising drive and it's become the first of its kind in the UK offering huge benefits for wildlife, plants, staff, patients and the local community. Top tips of what green reps need are facility time, to be able to share the load with others in the branch and to access training and resources. Start small because quick wins build momentum. Be highly visible and celebrate success with a strong union identity because our members want a greener, fairer future. UCU rep Paul Rock has played a key role working together with students. Last year, the union ran a successful campaign calling on Cardiff University to declare a climate emergency. The university has now committed to becoming carbon neutral by 2030. Paul has also bargained for more support for greener travel and for sustainable ethical investments. It's not one size fits all, but joint approaches work. Join with allies and seek senior management by it. Make a moral case, not just a business case. Establish structures and make environment a priority. More employers are assessing climate risk and planning adaptation and mitigation measures. The workers need to be at the centre of this, with transition planning and agreements made with unions. These will secure jobs, pay, pensions, equality, skills and health and safety. Because together we can tackle the climate and nature crisis. And create a just transition for Wales. <laughs>